Still at the National Science and Technology Center, we bump into Mwape. Tell me which school you are coming from. Nawo Secondary School. And you are in grade ten. Why are you here? I came up with an innovation of making organic sunscreen. You can see here. Okay. Yes. So then now uh, looking at Zambia today, we find we don't have a sunscreen production industry. So we have to receive this sunscreen via import, which is very costly. So when it comes into the country, it's even more expensive. So you find people with albinism and other skin conditions who really need this sunscreen and are able to afford it. So you find most of them end up dying from skin cancer, which is a very deadly and painful disease. So I came up with a way for me to make organic sunscreen, which will be cheaper and more affordable. So that you can even introduce sunscreen production into Zambia and help those live with albinism and other skin conditions. Hang on. Who told you that this is sun sunscreen? Actually, I just used a bit of my research as I was able to analyze the properties from other countries and see what they are able to do. Then from those chemicals they were using, because we don't have the adequate materials, neither do we have the machinery to make sunscreen. So I just got those same chemicals, but this time substituted them with natural substances, which can be found here in Zambia. Amazing. Your skin is good. Tell me something about it. Actually, people with albinism lack melanin. Melanin is a type of pigment which gives the skin, hair, and eyes its, pig, its color. So then looking at skin care, we find that this melanin acts as a shield against the sun's harmful UV rays. But then due to those ultraviolet rays, when they penetrate into the skin, they cause skin cancer. But then this sunscreen has the ability to act as the shield in replacement of that melanin. Fantastic explanation. You are now convinced that this works. Have you tried it? Yes, I've tried it on myself and six other people. How long have you been applying that on yourself? Actually, just one month. But actually, I've been improving it over time by adding some ingredients and changing over from time to time so they can be able to improve the quality. This is great. For those that have gotten this product already, what do they say? Actually, when I was testing them, I only gave those whom I was using as test subjects. So most of them said that it had good results, but then there were a bit of some side effects, although most of them were able to fade off. So I can just say that this sunscreen works well for them, and they said that it was fine. Excellent. What do you intend? What's, what's your ultimate vision for this? Because if this can be branded, I think that's what I really want. Because if it's made into an actual brand, people will be able to trust it more. Mm -hmm. And you find people with albinism and other skin conditions will be able to afford this, as I was able to use cheaper natural substances. Because these people who make sunscreen expect to make profit. So when it comes into Zambia, they also expect to make that same profit. So you find that the price is even more as compared to sunscreen that I made. And I think mine is more environmental friendly, as I was able to use only organic materials. I've been to the university teaching hospital. That should be clinic. Uh, should be clinic five or six upstairs, where persons with albinism go to cure up for this. This is the official, isn't it? Yes. The one that's already made out there. But like she has mentioned, it's a little on the high. It's expensive, and rarely do we have sufficient supplies in the country, isn't it? Yes, very true. Yeah, so we, we have it not really in abundance time and again. But what she says is, her product here, can we say it's equivalent to that already? Not really equivalent. It's somehow similar due to the ingredient components. So you find that the things that I added may have some of the chemical composition similar to the sunscreen that is already made or artificial types. But somehow we find that this one may have some advantages and disadvantages as compared to this one. What do you call it? Have you given it a name already? Yes. You mean as a brand? Uh -huh. Yes. Happy Natural Sunscreen. Happy Natural Sunscreen. Why happy? Not uh, with your name. Actually, my dad is one who inspired me, as my dad was also one of those who were not able to afford sunscreen lotion, and he ended up dying from skin cancer. So and his name was Hensho Chimpampa, and combined with my name, I made happy. Excellent. Wishing all the best to such innovative minds, and we hope that there's somebody out there who can pump some resources having our own brand of sunscreen.